Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Let me know how you're doing down below. Where are you from? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And uh, another subscriber requested video. I hate calling you guys subscribers because really, you're my friend. So another friend requested video. This is the making of Saf Trooper. We have not watched this one. It was highly recommended. It said you got to check it out. You have to, Max. You have to. So we're going to check it out. Um, let's, let's go do this. We know how badass they are, right? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Ako ay si Rafi Alunan. Malugod ko kayong inaanyayahan na panuorin ang pangalawang kabanata ng Tagaligtas. Yes. This segment will divulge how a SAF trooper is selected and trained for its various missions. This is exciting. Earning <laughs> a SAF beret has biblical connotations Ooh. in that many answer the call, but few are chosen. Right. Best of the best. Indeed, the selection and training is so rigorous that only the best of the best survive the course because a SAF trooper must be a clear-headed and tireless, multi-role, all-weather, and all-terrain warrior. You have to be That's very strong. You have to have the right attitude. I pretty much have my mindset. I'm going to join this unit. You have to. In fact, I was already puking my guts out. <laughs> <laughs> you push everybody to the limit. Ang nakasulat lang sa placard, there's nothing in this course but pain. Ooh. Nothing but pain, develop, man. Organize and train organic personnel in the furtherance of the assigned mission. Conduct counter terrorist operations in urban and rural areas. Hey, now that's a shot. <laughs> Commando type unconventional warfare against lawless elements with minimal direction and control and search and rescue operations during calamities and catastrophes these are just some of the duties expected of a SAF trooper but to be able to perform them a SAF trooper must undergo training so intense that in its original form only 10% of the recruits made the cut. That is a small percent. Fort Santo Domingo, Laguna, 10th City. For four months, a SAF recruit will call this home as he undergoes the commando course, the SAF Foundation course that has been polished, reshaped, and perfected over the past 29 years. A five kilometer run, three times a day, Woo! carrying 18 kilos of gear. That's rough. Push ups, pull ups, sit ups and other calisthenics under the blistering sun. Every day, SAF recruits undergo severe physical training that separates the men from the boys. Right. At the same time, they learn and develop various combat skills, such as weapons handling, marksmanship, combat life-saving techniques, and map reading and navigation. That's vital right there. Training map is reading. as much a test of character and fortitude as it is of physical strength and stamina. It is designed to enable men to make strategic decisions in the face of danger and adversity. It's the willingness to serve and die yes. doing that job. You know, napakabigat. Kaya, um, basic requirement was he should, be, he should be a volunteer officer or volunteer soldier to join SAP. Extensive yung interview portion namin sa recruit. Tatang ngayon, ba't gusto mong pumasok sa SAP? Kailangan yung individual na may initiative. They, they should be patriotic. Yes. Kasi alam nilang mahirap yung dadaanan nila eh. Training pa lang, mahirap na eh. And much more doon sa deployment nila. Before a uh, staff trooper graduates from the uh, commando course, they have to undergo the test mission. Ooh. And you cannot graduate unless you have an encounter with the enemy. Wow, so I guess these test missions, they're going out against real live bad dudes, you know, and you can't pass unless you encounter them. Um, I think that's the perfect test because that's going to tell you who this person really is, you know. Uh, very impressive.
Yung moto kasi ng SAF, the more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in battle. So, kahit anong hirap yan, uh, doon namin na-realize nung natismisyon na kami. Yun palang purpose sa kahirap-hirap ng training ng daanan namin sa SAF. It is during commando training that the recruits are introduced to SAF's basic unit, the eight-man team. Right. In urban combat or jungle warfare, whether on land, in the air, or at sea, the unit is a force to be reckoned with. They can be deployed anywhere, anytime, and at a moment's notice. You don't want these eight-man teams after you, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Turn on the eight-man team as the smallest component of the SAF. Unit. They can be further broken down into two uh, firing teams no, of equal number of men, that's 4 to 4. Right. The eight man can handle as much as 40 to 80 people at any one time. They should be prepared to be 43. at least uh, 3 hours to 4 hours of fighting before they can even be reinforced. So wow. it's training, it's equipment, it's uh, discipline. The emphasis on being wow. a small but lethal unit reinforces the bond between team members and everyone. Even the commanding officers feels the strong stress on brotherhood. Tapos nakadepend siya sa isa't isa. Ako nakadepend ako sa kanila. Sila nakadepend sa akin. Kung baga sa ano, parang yung buhay ko, konektado right. sa buhay That's nila. That's true. Buhay That's very true. Sa akin. The much coveted Black Beret shows that its wearer has gone through the extremely difficult SAF basic training course. The beret is worn only after the recruit has faced the enemy in the field of combat. Pinaghirapan mm. namin to. Pawis, dugo, lahat. Nandito na. Pag nabigyan ka ng beret, parang... Sabi nga nila eh, parang wala kang kamatayan eh. Ito kasi yung pride ng kahit sinong sap. Ito, 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 black beret na to. So, <laughs> hindi mo may sosot to kung hindi ka graduate ng SAF Ranger. Siya yung pinakamahirap na training, even sa ibang units sa armed forces. I bet that you're so electrified once you finally receive that black beret, you know, that very, very few have. But when you, when you do have it, you know, you've uh, sacrificed a lot already, and you're willing to sacrifice everything in the future if it comes down to it. Um, we have to show these men so much respect. On the beret is the SAF insignia, symbolizing the different courses that transform an average law enforcer into a modern day warrior. SAF's foundation course, the commando course, is represented by the tabak, or jungle knife. The wings symbolize the airborne course. The crosshair represents the urban counter-revolutionary warfare course and the water embodies the scuba course. That's cool symbolisms right there. Very the cool. hard physical training instills in each recruit discipline, responsibility, integrity, and love for country. It is law enforcement on a whole new level. Right. For the few who graduate from commando training, this only marks the beginning of their lifelong mission to be Tagaligtas. And though SAF's functions may have changed over the years, adapting to the needs of the times, this basic calling to serve and protect has not changed. We are trained and we are conditioned to fight to the best of our ability, to fight the enemies of the state, making a difference wherever you are, whatever circumstances you're in. I think that's the most fulfilling. Yes. Maraming salamat sa panonood ninyo ng ikalawang kabanata ng Tagaligtas. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na inyong nakita, sana i-share ninyo sa inyong mga social media communities. Yes. Sa pangatlong kabanata, matutunghayan ninyo kung paano napasabak ang SAF sa February 1986 People Power Revolution at pagpili nila sa tamang landas sa makasaysayang pag-aalsa. Ito si Rafi Alunan, May the force be with you. Yes, may the force be with you. And uh, the amazing thing I've seen in this video and listened to was when they had the eight-man team and their condition to, would they say, fight 40, 46 men all at once for six hours before they're going to get their uh, recruit or get their uh, backup. That's that's intense. Like that's it sounds like such a, a disadvantage, and it should be. But it sounds like with the training that these men receive, uh, they can handle it. They are made to handle it. Um, sounds like to me like 
God made the, this is their plan, you know. If you went through this course and you've made it, and you have the strength and the mindset to do it, you were made for this. So, um, this is a very inspiring video. Maybe we'll check out part three. Uh, if you guys want me to, just let me know down below. But like I said, uh, let me know what you think about this. I love the comments. Keep them coming down below. Uh, I'm going to drop my Twitter and uh, Instagram links down below if you have it. You have it. If you don't, you don't. If you want to join, that would be cool. And I'll see you next time. Spread that peace, that love, that happiness. Later.